Hello and welcome to this Trade Radiators video. My name is James and today we're going to have a look at the really, really simple process of how to bleed a radiator and in particular this towel rail here. Now usually we bleed a radiator when we've done some work to the system and we're filling it all back up or you've tightened up a leak or something on the bottom of the rad valve and you need to get that all sorted out and refilled up properly. There are other reasons that we might have to bleed air out of a radiator and the main one is that there's not enough treatment in the heating system water but we'll cover that in another one of our videos. It's a really simple procedure, but you'll know exactly how to do it after you've watched this video. I hope you enjoy it. So you've done all the work that you needed to do to your heating system and now you're ready to bleed the radiators and in particular this towel rail here. The first thing I'd do is make sure that the lock shield and the thermostatic radiator valve or TRV, if it's present, is open. Now as you can see here, we only have two lock shields. To open them up, we pop the caps off and open both of them fully anti-clockwise. Now before we let any air out of this radiator, you must make sure that either the feed from the feed and expansion tank in the loft is open or that you have enough pressure in your system if it is a sealed or pressurised system. You can make sure of that if you go to the filling loop in the airing cupboard or wherever that may be or if you've got a combi boiler or a system boiler, it will be inside the boiler itself. Always refer to the instructions on how to repressurise the system, especially if you've got a boiler because you have to look at their specific way of doing it. So now you make sure you've got an adequate supply of water to the system we should be able to easily vent air from this radiator. We do that with a radiator key, they have a very small square in them at the end but a lot of the time they have a small slot as well so you can use a slotted screwdriver. This one here what I always do is a small small tip for you is I get a file and just file off the taper that's on the inside here because sometimes you'll be working on a radiator that's been painted loads and all the paint's got inside there and having the taper on the end doesn't quite let your key get on the end of that square. So let's have a look at actually how we let all the air out of this radiator and fill it back up with water. So here we have a normal bleed. As you can see this one has a square in it for our key but it also has a slot in there as well if you want to use a screwdriver. So what we're going to do is very very simply just put a cloth up here, slack this off, let the air out and as soon as we get some water out just close it really quickly and hopefully our little cloth will catch all the water. And there we go, that's it. If we look around here, you can actually see a small hole where the water comes out. And there we go, that radiator is now bled of air. So there you go, you've seen how easy it is to bleed a radiator of air. All you need is a cloth, a key and a small adjustable spanner or a set of grips to make sure that the radiator valves are open. This also goes for normal column radiators or panel radiators or any kind of radiator you've got that will take a key like this or a slotted screw. I hope you found today's video helpful and informative and thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.